Greetings, comrades, in the trenches of career ambition. Ever feel like you're sprinting on a treadmill, putting in Herculean effort, yet going nowhere fast? In our relentless pursuit of success, we often find ourselves trapped on the hamster wheel of hustle. But what if I told you there's a better way? It's time to ditch the glorification of busyness and embrace the power of efficiency. The journey to career efficiency starts now. Have you ever marveled at the architectural wonders of ancient Rome or the intricate irrigation systems of ancient Egypt? These feats of engineering weren't just products of brute force. They were testaments to the power of efficient planning and execution. The Romans, with their meticulously organized legions and ingenious aqueducts, understood the importance of streamlining processes and maximizing resources. Similarly, the Egyptians, in constructing their majestic pyramids and developing their sophisticated hieroglyphic writing system, demonstrated an acute awareness of time management and task delegation. These ancient civilizations, despite lacking the technological advancements we enjoy today, achieved remarkable feats through a keen understanding of efficiency principles. But the lessons of efficiency aren't confined to the dusty pages of history books. Let's fast forward a few centuries to the Industrial Revolution. The invention of the assembly line, a seemingly simple concept, revolutionized manufacturing by breaking down complex tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. This paved the way for mass production and ushered in an era of unprecedented economic growth. The takeaway here? Efficiency is timeless. Its principles have been applied throughout history to achieve extraordinary results and they remain just as relevant and powerful in today's fast-paced world. Burnout? Now you might be thinking, hold on a minute, didn't the Industrial Revolution also bring about gruelling working conditions and exploitation? And you wouldn't be wrong. The relentless pursuit of efficiency, if misapplied, can lead to negative consequences. We've all heard the stories, seen the headlines, burnout is rampant, stress levels are soaring, and work-life balance is becoming a distant myth. The modern workplace, despite its technological marvels, often feels like a pressure cooker. We're bombarded with emails, deadlines loom large, and the lines between work and personal life blur into oblivion. It's no wonder that so many of us feel overwhelmed, exhausted, and disillusioned. But here's the crucial point. True efficiency isn't about pushing ourselves to the brink of collapse. It's about working smarter, not harder, about achieving sustainable success without sacrificing our well-being. It's about finding a rhythm that allows us to thrive, both professionally and personally. In the following sections, we'll explore how to achieve this delicate balance, how to harness the power of efficiency without falling prey to its potential pitfalls. Let's face it, in the arena of professional gladiators, we're all vying for a coveted spot on the podium. But here's a secret. The swiftest chariot doesn't always win the race. Sometimes it's the charioteer's strategic prowess, their ability to navigate the course efficiently. That makes all the difference. You see, my friends, efficiency isn't just about raw speed or brute force. It's about working smarter about optimizing our efforts to achieve maximum impact. It's about identifying and eliminating time-wasting activities, about streamlining our workflows, and about focusing our energy on the tasks that truly matter. Think of it this way. You're a lumberjack tasked with chopping down a tree. You could swing your axe with all your might, expending tremendous energy, but making slow progress. Or you could take a moment to sharpen your axe, a seemingly counterintuitive action that would ultimately make your work faster, easier and more effective. That's the essence of efficiency, investing a little up front to reap exponential rewards down the line. Ancient wisdom for modern success. Efficiency is key, but where do I start? How do I break free from my to-do list? We have ancient wisdom and modern research to guide us. Remember the Stoic philosophers of ancient Greece? They knew our minds are our most valuable tools. 
Mindfulness, focus and prioritisation are essential skills. Research shows mindfulness reduces stress and improves focus. This leads to increased productivity and job satisfaction. Cultivate a calm mind, prioritise tasks and manage time wisely. Lessons from Feudal Japan Ah, the samurai. Warriors of legend, masters of the sword and pioneers of efficiency. They lived by Bushido, emphasising discipline, self-mastery and focus. Every movement had to be precise and efficient. Countless hours were dedicated to honing their skills. This mindset of efficiency permeated their lives. Time was their most precious commodity. In battle, a split second meant victory or defeat. This wisdom holds true in our modern-day battles. The samurai teach us discipline, focus and making every action count. Sun Tzu's Art of Career Warfare – Strategic Planning for Victory Speaking of ancient warriors, let's journey to ancient China, where a brilliant military strategist named Sun Tzu penned a little book called The Art of War. Now, before you grab your helmets and shields, I'm not suggesting you challenge your boss to a duel. Sun Tzu's teachings, while rooted in military strategy, offer timeless wisdom applicable to our modern-day career skirmishes. Sun Tzu emphasized the importance of knowing your strengths and weaknesses, analyzing your competition, in this case your career goals, and planning your moves strategically. He famously said, every battle is won or lost before it's ever fought. In the context of our careers, this means investing time up front in planning and preparation. This could involve setting clear goals, identifying your ideal career path, or acquiring the skills and knowledge necessary to excel in your field. Remember, my friends, a well-defined strategy is your secret weapon in the battle for career success. It's about choosing your battles wisely, focusing your energy on the tasks that truly matter, and avoiding distractions that lead you astray from your ultimate goals. Renaissance men and women, mastering the art of multifaceted brilliance, Let's fast forward a few centuries to the Renaissance, a period of remarkable intellectual and artistic flourishing. Think Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Galileo Galilei, individuals who excelled in multiple disciplines from painting and sculpture to science and engineering. These Renaissance polymaths weren't just talented, they were masters of efficiency, effortlessly navigating between diverse fields of study and creative pursuits. So how did they do it? They understood the interconnectedness of knowledge, recognizing that skills honed in one area could often be applied to others. They were also voracious learners, constantly seeking new challenges and expanding their horizons. And they weren't afraid to experiment, to break down traditional barriers and forge new paths. The takeaway? Don't be afraid to embrace your inner Renaissance person. Cultivate diverse interests, seek out new skills, and don't be afraid to connect seemingly disparate ideas. You never know where these explorations might lead you. Benjamin Franklin's Daily Grind, a founding father's guide to productivity. Now, let's hop across the pond to colonial America where a certain Benjamin Franklin, a man of many hats, inventor, statesman, diplomat, printer, and all-around Renaissance man, demonstrated the power of structured routines and disciplined time management. Franklin was a staunch advocate of early rising, believing that the early bird truly does catch the worm. He started each day with a structured routine, dedicating specific hours to work, learning and personal pursuits. He even developed a system for tracking his virtues, meticulously recording his progress in a small notebook. Franklin understood that time, once lost, is gone forever. He famously quipped, dost thou love life? Then do not squander time, for that is the stuff life is made of. His disciplined approach to time management allowed him to accomplish an astounding amount in his lifetime, leaving an indelible mark on American history and beyond. The Industrial Revolution, Efficiency's Double-Edged Sword. Now let's journey back to the 18th century, where the rumble of machinery and the clang of hammers heralded a new era, the Industrial Revolution. 
This period of unprecedented technological advancement transformed societies, economies, and the very nature of work itself. The invention of steam power, the mechanization of production, and the rise of factories led to remarkable increases in efficiency and productivity. Goods could now be produced at a scale and speed previously unimaginable. But this newfound efficiency came at a cost. Workers often toiled long hours in harsh conditions, performing repetitive tasks that offered little autonomy or satisfaction. The Industrial Revolution, while a testament to human ingenuity, also highlighted the potential pitfalls of unchecked efficiency. It served as a stark reminder that efficiency, while a powerful tool, must be wielded with care and consideration for its human impact. From assembly lines to agile sprints, the evolution of workflow optimization. As the 20th century unfolded, the relentless march of progress brought forth new waves of innovation and efficiency-boosting methodologies. Henry Ford's assembly line, a marvel of standardized production, revolutionized manufacturing, making automobiles accessible to the masses. But as technology evolved, so too did our approaches to work. The rise of computers and the information age ushered in a new era of knowledge work, where efficiency became less about physical output and more about optimizing mental processes and information flow. We witnessed the emergence of new methodologies, lean manufacturing, Six Sigma, agile development, each seeking to streamline processes, eliminate waste and maximize output in their respective domains. The key takeaway? The quest for efficiency is an ongoing journey, a constant evolution of ideas and approaches. By studying the successes and failures of past methodologies, we can glean valuable insights for optimizing our own workflows and achieving peak productivity. The information age, taming the digital dragons of distraction. Ah, the information age. A time of instant connectivity, boundless information at our fingertips, and let's face it, relentless distractions lurking around every digital corner. We're bombarded with emails, social media updates, news alerts, and a never-ending stream of digital noise vying for our attention. It's no wonder that many of us find ourselves constantly switching tasks, struggling to focus, and feeling like we're perpetually tethered to our devices. But fear not, my digitally overwhelmed comrades. Just as our ancestors developed strategies for taming wild beasts, we too can learn to master the digital dragons of distraction. The key lies in setting boundaries, prioritizing our time and reclaiming control over our digital lives. Remember, my friends, technology should serve us, not enslave us. By adopting mindful digital habits, we can harness the power of the information age without falling prey to its potential pitfalls. The rise of automation, your new secret weapon, not your replacement. Now I know what you might be thinking. With all this talk of efficiency and optimization, will robots soon replace us all? And it's true, automation is rapidly changing the nature of work. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotic process automation are automating tasks once thought to be the exclusive domain of humans. But before you sound the alarm and start stockpiling canned goods for the robot apocalypse, hear me out. Automation, while disruptive, also presents incredible opportunities for us to work smarter, not harder. By automating repetitive, time-consuming tasks, we free up our cognitive bandwidth for more creative, strategic, and human-centric work. The key is to embrace automation as a powerful ally, not a threat. By upskilling, adapting to new technologies, and focusing on uniquely human skills like creativity, critical thinking, and emotional intelligence, we can thrive in an increasingly automated world. Let's delve into efficiency principles, armed with insights from history and modern research. The Pareto Principle, named after Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, who noticed something peculiar about peas in his garden. 80% of his peas came from just 20% of his pea pods. This universal principle shows 80% of effects come from 20% of causes. In careers, 
80% of results come from 20% of efforts. Identify high-impact activities and prioritize them ruthlessly. Delegate or eliminate the rest. Speaking of prioritization, let's turn our attention to another master of efficiency, Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th President of the United States. Now, Eisenhower, or Ike as he was fondly called, had a knack for getting things done. He successfully planned and executed the Allied invasion of Normandy D-Day during World War II, not to mention juggling the complexities of leading a nation during the Cold War. So, how did he manage it all? Well, Ike had a secret weapon, a simple yet powerful prioritization tool known as the Eisenhower Matrix. This handy matrix helps you categorize your tasks based on their urgency and importance. Urgent and important tasks go in quadrant one. Important but not urgent tasks go in quadrant two. Urgent but not important tasks go in quadrant three. And neither urgent nor important tasks go in quadrant four. The key takeaway, focus on quadrant two, my friends. These are your high impact strategic tasks that often get pushed aside in the hustle and bustle of daily life. By carving out dedicated time for Quadrant 2 activities, you invest in long-term success and avoid getting bogged down in the tyranny of the urgent. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say, the looming deadline on our calendars, procrastination. We've all been there, my friends, staring down a task we'd rather avoid, finding ingenious ways to fill our time with anything but the work at hand. But procrastination isn't just a matter of laziness or poor time management, it's often a psychological response to feeling overwhelmed or anxious about a particular task. Enter Parkinson's Law, named after the British historian Cyril Northcote Parkinson, who observed that work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. In other words, if we give ourselves a week to complete a task, it will likely take us the entire week, even if it could have been done in a day or two. The key takeaway? Set realistic deadlines, break down large tasks into smaller, more manageable chunks, and embrace the power of time constraints. Now, for all you fellow procrastinators out there, myself included, I have a delightful little technique to share, the Pomodoro Technique. This method, developed by Francesco Cirillo in the 1980s, is as simple as it is effective. All you need is a timer, preferably one shaped like a tomato, but any will do, and the willingness to commit to focused work sprints. Here's how it works. Set your timer for 25 minutes and work on a single task without distractions. Once the timer goes off, take a short break of five minutes. Repeat this cycle four times, then reward yourself with a longer break of 20 to 30 minutes. The Pomodoro technique leverages the power of short bursts of focused work, interspersed with regular breaks to maintain concentration and prevent burnout. It's like interval training for your brain, my friends. So grab your metaphorical tomatoes and get ready to conquer those procrastination demons. Now, let's talk about the building blocks of lasting change, habits. As the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle wisely said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Efficiency, my friends, is not a destination. It's a journey, a continuous process of building and refining positive habits. Start by identifying small, achievable changes you can make to your daily routine. Perhaps it's waking up 30 minutes earlier to tackle your most important task before the day's distractions take hold. Or maybe it's implementing a no-meeting Wednesday policy to reclaim precious, focused work time. The key is to start small, be consistent, and celebrate your wins along the way. Remember, my friends, even small changes when compounded over time can lead to remarkable results. Now here's a hard truth. We can't do it all alone. And you know what? We shouldn't try to. Delegation, my friends, is not a sign of weakness. 
It's a strategic superpower that allows us to leverage the strengths of others and free ourselves to focus on our own zones of genius. Think of a conductor leading an orchestra. The conductor doesn't play every instrument. Instead, they direct a talented group of musicians, each playing their part to create a harmonious symphony. Similarly, effective delegation involves identifying the right people for the right tasks, providing clear instructions and expectations, and then trusting them to deliver. Remember, my friends, delegation isn't just about dumping tasks on others. It's about empowering your team, developing their skills, and creating a more efficient and collaborative work environment. The science of breaks, recharging your batteries for peak performance. Now you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but when do I sleep? When do I eat? When do I have a life? Fear not, my efficiency enthusiasts, for I haven't forgotten about the importance of rest and rejuvenation. In fact, taking breaks isn't just enjoyable, it's essential for maintaining peak performance. Studies have shown that our brains aren't wired for sustained attention. We naturally cycle through periods of high focus and low focus throughout the day. By taking regular breaks, we give our minds a chance to rest and recharge, leading to increased productivity, creativity and overall well-being. So, step away from that computer, my friends. Take a walk, grab a cup of tea, chat with a colleague, or simply close your eyes and breathe deeply for a few minutes. Your brain and your productivity will thank you. Mindfulness in the mayhem. Finding your Zen in the corporate jungle. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the importance of mindfulness in our quest for career efficiency. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Mindfulness in this chaotic corporate jungle? You've got to be kidding. But hear me out, my friends. Mindfulness, in its simplest form, is about paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It's about cultivating awareness of our thoughts, feelings and sensations without getting swept away by them. And in our fast-paced, always-on work culture, mindfulness is not a luxury. It's a necessity. By incorporating mindfulness practices into our workday, whether it's a few minutes of meditation, a mindful walk during our lunch break, or simply paying attention to our breath, we can train our minds to stay present, focused and resilient in the face of challenges. Remember, my friends, finding your Zen in the corporate jungle isn't about achieving a state of blissful detachment. It's about developing the mental clarity, focus and emotional resilience to navigate the ups and downs of our careers with grace and ease. The power of one, identifying your North Star goal. All right, my fellow efficiency enthusiasts, we've journeyed through history and explored ancient wisdom. Now, it's time to transform your work life from chaotic to controlled. Begin with identifying your North Star goal. Without a clear destination, it's easy to get pulled in countless directions. Your North Star goal is your guiding light, your ultimate objective. It could be landing your dream job, starting a business or mastering a new skill. Whatever it is, it should truly excite you. Write it down, visualize it, and let it guide your actions. Remember, if you don't know where you're going, any path will get you there. Now let's talk about taming the beast that is our to-do list. We've all been there, staring down a monstrous list of tasks, feeling overwhelmed and paralyzed by the sheer volume of it all. But fear not, my fellow list makers, for there is a better way. The key to effective task management is not about cramming more into our already overflowing schedules. It's about creating a system that brings order to the chaos and allows us to focus on what truly matters. Start by choosing a task management system that works for you, whether it's a simple pen and paper, a digital app or a combination of both. Then make it a habit to capture all your tasks in one central location, freeing up valuable mental space for more important matters. Remember, my friends, a cluttered mind leads to a cluttered life. By decluttering your tasks and creating a system for managing them, you free yourself to focus on what truly matters, achieving your goals and living a more fulfilling life.
Now let's talk about the art of time management, or should I say, time mastery. Because my friends, time is our most precious commodity, a non-renewable resource that once spent is gone forever. And yet, how often do we treat our time as an afterthought, letting it slip through our fingers like grains of sand? It's time to reclaim control, my friends. And the key is time blocking. Time blocking is about proactively scheduling your day, allocating specific blocks of time for different tasks and activities. It's about treating your time with the same intentionality you would a doctor's appointment or a client meeting. Start by identifying your most productive hours, those magical times of day when your energy and focus are at their peak. Then block off those times for your most important, high-value tasks. Schedule meetings and calls during times when your energy naturally dips. Remember, my friends, your schedule is your domain. Don't let it rule you. Rule it. Now let's talk about those pesky little tasks. The ones that seem insignificant on their own, but can quickly accumulate into a mountain of overwhelm if left unchecked. You know the ones I'm talking about, answering a quick email, filing a document, making a phone call. These tasks may seem trivial, but they have a sneaky way of cluttering our minds and draining our energy. Enter the two minute rule, a simple yet powerful productivity hack that can help you stay on top of these small tasks before they become big problems. The rule is simple. If a task takes less than two minutes to complete, do it now. Don't put it off, don't add it to your to-do list, just get it done. This simple act of taking immediate action prevents small tasks from snowballing into overwhelming burdens, freeing up mental space and energy for more important matters. The art of saying no, protecting your time and energy. Now here's a skill that's essential for any efficiency enthusiast. The art of saying no. In our always-on, hyper-connected world, it's easy to feel obligated to say yes to every request, every invitation, every opportunity that comes our way. But here's the thing, my friends. Every time we say yes to something, we're inherently saying no to something else. We're saying no to our own priorities, our own goals, our own well-being. Learning to say no gracefully, assertively and strategically is crucial for protecting our time, energy and ultimately our sanity. Start by recognising that it's okay to decline requests that don't align with your goals or priorities. Remember my friends, you are not obligated to please everyone or take on every opportunity that comes your way. Your time and energy are precious. Choose wisely how you spend them. Embrace imperfection, the 80% rule for done, not perfect. Now let's address a common obstacle to efficiency, perfectionism. Ah, perfectionism, that seductive yet insidious foe that whispers in our ears, telling us that our work isn't good enough, that we need to keep striving for an unattainable ideal. But here's the truth, my friends, perfection is a myth, a siren song that can lead us down a path of procrastination, overwhelm and ultimately unfulfilled potential. Enter the 80% rule, a liberating principle that encourages us to embrace imperfection and focus on progress over perfection. The 80% rule suggests that, in many cases, 80% done is good enough to ship, to launch, to share with the world. Remember, my friends, done is better than perfect. By embracing imperfection, we free ourselves to iterate, to learn from our mistakes and to move forward with confidence and momentum. The power of automation. Technology as your efficiency ally. Now let's revisit the exciting world of automation, not as a threat to our jobs, but as a powerful ally in our quest for efficiency. Technology, when used strategically, can be a game changer, freeing us from tedious, repetitive tasks and allowing us to focus on higher value work. Think about it. How much time do you spend each day on tasks that could be automated? email filtering, data entry, appointment scheduling, social media posting. 
These are just a few examples of tasks that can be streamlined or even eliminated with the right tools. Start by identifying the tasks that consume the most time in your workday. Then explore the wide array of automation tools available, from email filters and scheduling apps to robotic process automation software and AI-powered assistants. Remember, my friends, technology should work for you, not the other way around. Embrace automation as a powerful ally, freeing you to focus on what truly matters, your creativity, your ingenuity, and your unique human contributions. Recharge and refuel. Prioritizing sleep, nutrition, and exercise. Now, my fellow efficiency enthusiasts, let's talk about something equally important as all the productivity hacks and time management techniques, taking care of your most valuable asset, your health and well-being. You see, my friends, we can have the most optimized schedules, the most efficient workflows, and the most cutting edge technology at our disposal. But if we're running on fumes, our efforts will be in vain. Prioritizing sleep, nutrition and exercise isn't just good for our health, it's essential for maintaining peak cognitive performance, boosting creativity and sustaining energy levels throughout the day. So make time for those morning walks, prioritize those nutrient-rich meals and aim for those glorious seven to eight hours of sleep each night. Remember, my friends, taking care of yourself isn't selfish, it's an investment in your long-term success and well-being. Continuous learning, investing in your efficiency arsenal. Now in the ever-evolving landscape of the modern workplace, one thing remains constant, the need for continuous learning. The skills and knowledge that got us here today won't necessarily be the ones that propel us forward tomorrow. The good news is that we live in an age of unprecedented access to information and learning resources, from online courses and workshops to podcasts and books, the opportunities to expand our knowledge and skills are limitless. Make it a habit to dedicate time each week, even if it's just 30 minutes, to learning something new. It could be exploring the latest productivity tools, diving deeper into a specific efficiency methodology, or simply reading articles and books on topics that interest you. Remember, my friends, learning is an investment, not an expense. By continuously expanding our knowledge and skills, we become more adaptable, more valuable, and more equipped to navigate the ever-changing world of work. The joy of efficiency, finding flow and fulfillment in your work. And finally, my fellow efficiency enthusiasts, let's not forget the ultimate goal of it all, finding joy and fulfillment in our work. Efficiency isn't just about squeezing more tasks into our day or becoming productivity machines. It's about creating a work life that aligns with our values, our passions and our purpose. It's about finding that sweet spot where challenge meets skill, where we lose ourselves in the flow of work and where time seems to both fly by and stand still. When we're efficient, we free ourselves from the shackles of overwhelm, procrastination and busy work, allowing space for creativity, innovation and meaningful contributions. Remember, my friends, efficiency is not the goal in itself, it's a means to an end. By mastering the art of efficiency, we unlock the potential to create a work life that is not only productive, but also deeply fulfilling. The efficiency evolution, it's not a solo mission. Now, throughout this grand expedition to unlock career efficiency, we've delved into ancient wisdom, explored modern research, and armed ourselves with a treasure chest of practical strategies. But here's a secret, my fellow travelers, on the road to success. It's not a journey you have to take alone. Think back to those intrepid explorers of old venturing into uncharted territories. Did they embark on their quests solo, armed with nothing but a compass and a dream? Of course not. They had a crew, a team of skilled individuals, each bringing their unique expertise and support to the endeavor. And so it is with our own efficiency journeys. 
While we must each take ownership of our own growth and development, seeking guidance, support and accountability along the way can make all the difference. The power of perspective, seeing your blind spots. Now, you might be thinking, but I'm doing all right on my own. I've implemented some of these techniques and I'm seeing some progress. And that's fantastic, my friend. But here's the thing about blind spots. We don't know what we don't know. We can get so caught up in our own routines, our own perspectives, that we fail to see areas where we could improve, where we might be holding ourselves back. It's like trying to navigate a maze from within. Sometimes you need an aerial view to see the bigger picture. That's where an objective perspective can be invaluable. A coach, a mentor, or even a trusted friend or colleague can provide that outside-in view, helping us identify blind spots, challenge our assumptions, and uncover hidden opportunities for growth. Accountability, your secret weapon against procrastination. Now, let's talk about another powerful benefit of seeking support on our efficiency journeys, accountability. We all have those moments, those days, when motivation wanes, procrastination beckons, and those carefully crafted schedules go out the window. It's easy to let ourselves off the hook when we're the only ones holding ourselves accountable. But having someone to answer to, Someone who believes in our potential and gently nudges us back on track when we stray can make all the difference. Accountability isn't about judgment or pressure. It's about support and encouragement. It's about having someone in your corner cheering you on and reminding you of your own capabilities, even when you might doubt them yourself. Breaking the mold tailored strategies for your unique journey. Now, throughout this grand exploration of efficiency, we've encountered a plethora of principles, strategies, and techniques. But here's the thing, my friends, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. What works brilliantly for one person might fall flat for another. We are all unique individuals, each with our own strengths, weaknesses, preferences, and work styles. That's why it's crucial to tailor these strategies to fit your unique needs and goals to create an efficiency system that feels authentic and sustainable for you. And that's where a coach or mentor can be invaluable, helping you identify your unique strengths, understand your work style and create a personalized roadmap for success. Beyond efficiency, unleashing your full potential. Now, as we approach the summit of our efficiency expedition, let's take a moment to reflect on the bigger picture. Efficiency, my friends, is not just about getting more done in less time. It's about creating space for what truly matters, both in our careers and in our lives. It's about freeing ourselves from the shackles of overwhelm and busy work so that we can pursue our passions, make meaningful contributions, and live lives filled with purpose and joy. It's about unleashing our full potential not just as productive individuals, but as well-rounded, fulfilled human beings. And that, my friends, is a journey worth taking. M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting. Your partners in career excellence. And if you're ready to embark on this transformative journey to unlock your full potential and achieve career excellence, then allow me to introduce you to your trusted guides, Mjoga Coaching and Consulting. At Mjoga, we understand that your career is more than just a job. It's an integral part of your life's journey. That's why we take a holistic approach to career coaching, helping you develop not only the practical skills, but also the mindset, resilience and strategies needed to thrive in today's competitive world. Our team of experienced coach and consultants provides personalized guidance, tailored strategies, and unwavering support to help you achieve your career aspirations. We believe that everyone has the potential to achieve greatness, and we're here to help you unlock yours. Ready for your career breakthrough? Book your complimentary call today. So, my fellow efficiency enthusiasts, if you're ready to ditch the overwhelm, boost your productivity, and create a career you love, 
we invite you to take the next step. Book your complimentary career breakthrough call with M. Joga. Coaching and consulting today. During this call, you'll have the opportunity to connect with one of our expert coach, Dr. Joga, discuss your unique goals and challenges, and discover how M. Joga can support you on your journey to career excellence. The journey continues, a final word from a fellow traveller. As we conclude our grand expedition to unlock career efficiency, I leave you with these words from the wise and witty Benjamin Franklin, a true master of productivity and a shining example of what it means to live a life of purpose and accomplishment. Lost time is never found again. Let these words serve as a reminder to cherish your time, to invest it wisely, and to never stop seeking ways to optimize your efforts and achieve your dreams. The journey to efficiency is ongoing, my friends, but the rewards are immeasurable. So go forth, embrace the challenge, and create a career and a life that you love. The symphony of success, bringing it all together. We've reached the final movement of our grand symphony of efficiency. Seeking inspiration from samurai warriors and renaissance polymaths, uncovering the science behind productivity and habits, practical strategies like the Pareto Principle and Pomodoro Technique, the power of delegation and the importance of breaks. The true magic lies in how everything comes together harmoniously. From ancient wisdom to modern mastery, your efficiency toolkit. As we reflect on our journey, it's clear that the principles of efficiency are timeless. The same strategies that helped ancient civilizations build pyramids and conquer empires are just as relevant and powerful in today's fast-paced world. But we also live in an age of unprecedented opportunity with access to technology, research, and tools that our ancestors could only have dreamed of. We have at our disposal a vast array of productivity apps, automation tools, and online learning resources that can help us streamline our workflows, boost our productivity, and achieve levels of efficiency previously unimaginable. The key is to approach these tools with discernment, choosing those that align with our individual needs and goals, and using them strategically to enhance, not replace, our own human ingenuity. Remember, my friends, the tools themselves are just instruments. It's up to us, the conductors of our own career orchestras, to wield them with skill, creativity, and a deep understanding of the music we want to create. Remember the why, the human side of efficiency. Amidst all the talk of productivity hacks, time management techniques, and automation tools, it's easy to lose sight of the most important element in this entire equation, the human element. Efficiency, my friends, is not about becoming robots devoid of emotion or passion. It's about creating space for what truly matters, both in our careers and in our lives. It's about freeing ourselves from the shackles of overwhelm and busy work so that we can pursue our passions, nurture our relationships, make meaningful contributions to the world, and live lives filled with purpose, joy, and a deep sense of fulfillment. Remember, my friends, we are not machines. We are human beings with hearts, minds, and souls that crave connection, meaning, and a sense of belonging. Never lose sight of the why behind your efficiency quest. Let it be a driving force that propels you forward, not a relentless taskmaster that leaves you feeling depleted and uninspired. Your journey, your triumph, embrace the challenge. And so, my fellow efficiency enthusiasts, as we stand on the cusp of a new era of productivity and possibility, I urge you to embrace the challenge. Embrace the journey of continuous improvement, of learning, adapting and refining your approach to work and life. There will be setbacks, there will be moments of doubt, there will be times when you feel like giving up. But remember, my friends, the path to success is rarely a straight line. It's a winding road filled with twists, turns and unexpected detours. 
But with each challenge you overcome, with each obstacle you navigate, you emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient than before. So embrace the journey, my friends. Embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and never stop striving to become the best versions of yourselves. Unlock your full potential. Partner with M. Joga. And if you're ready to take your efficiency journey to the next level, to unlock your full potential and achieve career excellence, then we invite you to partner with M. Joga Coaching and Consulting. We are your trusted guides on the road to success, providing personalized support, proven strategies, and unwavering encouragement every step of the way. Remember, my friends, you don't have to do this alone. Book your complimentary career breakthrough call today and let's embark on this transformative journey together. And as we conclude our grand symphony of efficiency, I leave you with these words from the legendary Nelson Mandela, a man who knew a thing or two about overcoming challenges and achieving greatness. It always seems impossible until it's done. Go forth, my friends, and make the impossible possible. The world is waiting to witness your triumph.